Hi everyone, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is sharing with you some new products to me from Lancome. I had been wanting to review the new formulation of the Re-Energy Lift Foundation with you for a while. I had the old formula and I didn't need to purchase the new formula when it first came out last year so i didn't but now i'm almost out of this one so i did finally go in to purchase the new one and i'll tell you the difference between the two and i'll share my thoughts about them and i also picked up a couple new to me lancome products that i hadn't tried before and of course i talk a lot like always <laughs> so it's a little bit chatty but i'm going to just share my thoughts on these products with you. I'm going to try to do a check-in later so you can see how the foundation holds up. And yeah, that's what I've got for you today. So let's just jump in and get started. I'm going to start with the foundation. This is a new foundation, not new to me, but I have the new formula of Lancome's old foundation. And it's the Re-Energy Lift Makeup, which supposedly lifts and firms your skin. It has a proprietary blend that's trademarked from Lancome, that's micro lift technology. A lot of these brands have a certain blend of ingredients and they trademark it and patent it. And then they don't have to disclose their proprietary blend. So I can't really share with you what's in it. They just claim that it's a micro lift technology. So there's that. And they claim that in the new foundation, they increased the amount of these active ingredients. And then the other active ingredient is their SPF. The old formula had an SPF of 20 and the new formula has an F SPF of 27. So that's the only difference. Now, whenever I review a foundation for you, I like to read a lot of reviews everywhere. I always tell you that just to see the commonalities and what people like and what people dislike. The common thing with the new formula is that people who loved the old formula say they don't like the new formula. Not everyone, but that was a common complaint. A lot of people say they love it. It's their new holy grail. You know, of course, you get way more people who love it. But the common thread was people were upset that they reformulated. Now, like I said, they re just reformulated the active ingredients. So I don't know how that changed the formula of the foundation, but it, it probably did a little bit. But I do think that there was a phenomenon where you have a favorite product and it doesn't get discontinued, but it gets reformulated. And in your mind, you think, well, it wasn't broken. Why fix it? And you're upset that they messed with your new foundation. And sometimes when you have an older bottle of foundation, especially high-end foundations like Lancome, where they can sit on the shelf for a very long time and the ingredients won't separate. They just sort of stay together. I think of it like chili. When you cook chili and you put the leftovers in the fridge and you go back to eat them later and it tastes better because the formula changed, <laughs> like, you know, it's sort of like mingled better. I think that that's kind of the phenomenon that might ha happen where the ingredients, they don't separate or start to look old, but they sort of just jive better because have you ever gotten, like, especially with mascara, you get a fresh new tube and all of a sudden you're like, ah, oh, it has to like dry out a little bit to be just right. It's a little too wet and then it eventually gets that way. So I hope you're picking up what I'm, <laughs> what I'm putting down and here. I think that there are some people who just get upset. Why mess with something that's that's good. And then I think there are those people who truly just don't like the new formula. But I think that that when you take a bunch of people who immediately are like, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, you have to just say, well, okay, what is it? So I'm fortunate that I have both. So I was able to wear both for an entire week, one on one side of my face and one on the other side of my face. Now I will say that I am 110 in both, which is the same color. And this one swatches a little bit differently, but that makes sense because I think that after having this for a couple of years, which is how long this has lasted me, because I like to wear a variety of foundations, um, it might have oxidized a little bit. It's The change is very, very minor and you probably won't be able to tell. And this is a fresh new bottle. So 
I did wear them on both, you know, on my face and on my neck just to kind of, you know, I just blend it a little in just to kind of see it, see the difference. And I couldn't tell a difference, not in any light, not in my ring light, not in my car where the lighting's really good, not anywhere. So on me, there just wasn't a difference that I could detect. All right, so I'm going to show you these. This is the old formula, and I did shake these up. You don't need to, but I did just to make sure everything's equally blended. And I'm not going to put a lot on my hand because I want to blend these out for you, and it's going to be too much no matter how much I put because I don't need a big drop like this. So this is the old formula. And I hope you can see that there's a very slight difference in the shade, but they both work and you can't tell on my face or my skin. This is the new one. And they both, this one, I don't know why it's not. They're both just as runny. I have, you know, they're just both as runny. I think I put maybe a larger drop here, but it's more of a serum foundation. And I'm going to rub these in just to kind of show you, even though I always tell you <laughs> recently in my how to find your best foundation, just on one side. And I'm going to rub this one in on the other side. I do have a freckle here and some redness, so I'm going to let you see how it covers that too. I hope you can see there's really no difference. It's a very sort of reflective. They have micro... Um, pigments in it that add radiance and um, I kind of like it it doesn't it's not like a highlighter on your face it just makes older skin in my opinion look better um, I usually use the tint I doll ultra wear and this one is more of a matte full coverage whereas this one is a medium coverage radiant finish and this one is geared more I think for the mature woman because it's got the lifting technology in it um, and I just want to show you real quickly in case you haven't tried the ultra wear which is a really good one too but a lot of dry skinned ladies don't like this one it's a semi matte or a matte and as you can see it just it doesn't run at all it's like just kind of a thick it won't go anywhere. It's a thicker consistency and it's beautiful. All, this one has been a holy grail of mine for years and years. I love this and I love the stick, but I really love these too. I did make a video when I first got this reviewing it and I shared a dupe and the dupe is the L'Oreal lifting. I'll put a picture of it foundation and I did a wear test and all that and they wear the same. Um, I felt like it was a really good dupe and I think, you know, because L'Oreal owns Lancome, they have a lot of the same kinds of ingredients in their products and all that. So I did that comparison, but I'll tell you that like, like I said, this is going on two years. I bought the new one because I do need to pitch this, but, and it's almost empty anyways. I did use it. The L'Oreal separated in the bottle and like when I would open up my foundation drawer it would just be like all like broken up and it looked really gross if I shook it really hard I could blend the ingredients again and it would work so if you don't mind that it's just not the same in terms of like the high quality ingredients that allow the foundation to not separate or anything this will never do that so and this i'm hoping will never do that either if it does then i'll come back and tell you i like this one better but um, i'm assuming i've never had that problem with lancome foundations so let's go ahead and put this bad boy on so you can see how it looks now i do have pretty good skin right now and i'm not saying that to brag because it's the winter and my skincare routine is so good for me right now that I'm not battling dry skin and I'm not battling like redness, a lot of redness, some redness. And um, I don't have breakouts. I do have a little area on my face where I had some milia removed here, here, and here. Um, so I had some milia and I had them removed and there's a little like scab there. So we'll see how it color covers that. But the rest of my face and everything is just like normal right now. So 
put it on my hand and I will tell you that this does retail for approximately $47 or $50 in the same range as most Lancome foundations. I think they're all like in the high 40 range. And I like to purchase my Lancome products either when there's a sale at Ulta or Sephora or on the Lancome site, which has 30% off sales many times a year. So I watch for those and that's when I like to pick it up. Or I watch at Macy's, Dillard's, Bloomingdale's, Saks online and I look to see when Lancome is having a sale. And that's when I pick it up. So I don't really ever pay full price for my Lancome. Not that I haven't, I did pay full price this summer for the um, Tint Idol Concealer because everyone was raving about it and I had to try it and it was probably worth the full price. It's really good. Oh, so let's go over here now. Makeup Mirror Magnification. I like to apply this with a sponge. I applied it one day this week with a foundation brush and it is like a thinner like kind of um, a serum -y consistency, not like the Tint Idel where it's thick. So it did, was a little bit streaky, very, very minor, and I felt like I needed to pounce it with a beauty sponge afterward. So then from then on, I just used a beauty sponge. I only used a primer beneath it one day, and I, I think it's really good. I think it probably has like a built-in primer. I don't feel that I needed a primer, and I felt that it wear, wore very well throughout the day. I might do a check-in later in my car so you can see how everything is going on my face, you know, how it's um, looking after about five or six hours of wear because I have to pick my boys up at school. And when I pick them up at school, I'm sitting in the parking lot for a while and it's always a good time to like film something or do a check-in if I'm sharing a makeup like wear test or something. So if I can do that, if I get to the school on time, I'll do a check-in and you'll know because you'll see it. And definitely build this. It's a medium coverage. I think that it could be a light coverage if that's what you prefer by just applying it very lightly because it's a buildable foundation and I did build it to a medium coverage. Now, I don't think I would build this to a full coverage. You could, but I don't think I would. I just feel like I'd have a lot of foundation on my face if I did that and I don't like a lot of foundation on my skin. It feels very skin-like and it's weightless, so it doesn't really feel like you have anything on your skin, which is a good thing, and I like that. Another thing that I read on the Lancome website and on the Sephora website was that some people were getting bottles that were very close to the expiration date, and they were complaining about that. And I did check my expiration date prior to purchasing, like when I was in the store, and this one expires in 2024. So it does have a long shelf life. So check the expiration date. I don't have a new eyeshadow that I wanna share with you. I have plenty of Lancome eyeshadows, but I don't have a new one. So I am gonna use a Lancome eyeshadow, but I'm gonna go put it on and come back, and then we'll go on to the next product. I picked up a new mascara from Lancome and I picked up the Grandiose Extreme. And this is a mascara that I have never tried. And it does come in two formulas. It comes in Grandiose. It's a lifting and volumizing mascara and then Grandiose Extreme. And I know what you're thinking because if you watch me, you know I don't ever use really volumizing mascaras like the grandiose probably would have been fine but i really wanted to try the extreme because i thought it might be fun to have a really volumizing mascara some days you know so i picked this up and i have been using it for about a week and so i feel like a first it's always a first impression of a mascara until you have used it for like a good month and you've popped that plunger back in and pulled it out and air has kind of um, interacted with the formula and all that. So it's still kind of a first impression, but I will say right out of the gate that I really like it. Um, the bottle does not seem to be getting messy or anything. A lot of times with really volumizing mascaras, I find that the bottle gets kind of goopy around the 
the lid, like the enter, the entry <laughs> spot. Um, it does have like this swan neck applicator. And as you can see, there's a lot of mascara on there. You know, it does look kind of goopy, but it's not. It doesn't go on goopy and it doesn't go on clumpy. And I'm gonna show you. So let me just curl my lashes. And um, I've really enjoyed this over the past week of trying it out. So it's got this interesting applicator. I hope I'm holding it correctly. Yeah, it would have to go this way. If I do it this way, it would be touching my face. So you hold it like this and it's supposed to make applying your mascara easier. And I don't know about that but I know that I don't, it doesn't bother me. So while I apply this, I will ask you how your weekend was. <laughs> my weekend was very good. My dad's birthday was Saturday and my sister's birthday is today. I have to wish her a happy birthday, but I threw a party for them, just a very small party with my sister's family, my parents and my family, which with all of us is like 12 people. But we had a really nice time. And um, yeah, my dad is 77. I cannot believe it. My sister is two years older than me. She's 55 and um, yeah, it was really nice. I got to see my nieces and nephews and my kids got to play with their cousins. Oh, I take that back. One of my daughters was missing. She's in Miami. She and her boyfriend took a little weekend getaway to Miami. And um, so she wasn't there, but my older daughter came over after work and that was really nice. Um, okay, so this is like one coat. And... It doesn't dry immediately, which is nice, so you can easily build it up. And I usually like two coats. But with this mascara, one really is sufficient because it is very volumizing. But as you can see, it's not clumping, even though I'm adding more. At the end of the day, I don't have any flakes like down here or anything like that. And it doesn't smear on me, which is really important because I have kind of oilier skin around my eyes and it doesn't smear. It's been really good for the past seven days of wear. Okay, I'll do the other eye real quick and I'll be right back. An interesting thing that I read about this mascara in the reviews was probably like two or three ladies said that they typically wear false lashes, but when they don't, they wear this and it gives them that that false lash effect and I can see that it definitely is very um I don't know very volumizing and lifting and you can't go wrong with Lancome mascaras you just can't now they do suggest on the website to use the Sills booster beneath it the the primer for your lashes I guess that is supposed to even give it better wear and a long like a more um volumizing effect I have not tried it with a Sills Booster, so I will and report back. I probably should have, but I didn't. I went ahead and applied my blush because I don't have a brand new blush from Lancome. I do have a newer blush that I shared with you in a video already. This is really pretty and I love it. It's the Blush Subtle Long Wearing Waterproof Oil Free Blush from Lancome. And this is in the shade Make It Pop. And that's what it looks like. It's just this really pretty corally, pink comes off a little more pink on my skin than coral and i got this last last summer and it's really pretty i have not used it much this winter though and i'm kind of glad i pulled this out because it's so brightening. So yeah, that's what that looks like. I would recommend Lancome's blushes. They're really beautiful, long wearing, oil free, so nice. For powder blushes, you know my preference is cream blushes, but they're really nice. So I got a tiny little bronzer in my, not this past winter, but the one before, my Lancome kit, the big beauty box that I get sometimes. I think I shared it in a video. In fact, I know I did. And the palette that came in that box had a, um, a bronzer. 
and I really liked the bronzer a lot and I used it up. So I decided to purchase a new bronzer and I went in to get the same bronzer that was in that palette and I actually chose something different. It's the same brand, it's the same formula. It's still this, the Star Bronzer from Lancome, but it comes in a matte and it comes in what they call a shimmer, I guess, illumination. And mine is in the shade Solar. I'll link it. And it did not look shimmery to me in the palette. This is what it looks like. And I'll swatch it. And I thought, well, that's not really shimmery. The sales lady was telling me that. She's like, you might like this one. I said, no, no, I don't like a lot of shimmer in my bronzers. If it's a cream bronzer, it's usually okay, but not in a powder formula. And she's like, this really doesn't have a lot of shimmer at all. And so she applied it. You know, she let me test it out and I left and I actually went back to get it like the next day because I thought it looked so pretty. So I'm going to share this with you because it is new. Lancome products tend to be pretty pigmented. So so I would really recommend using a stippling brush. It's like a dual fiber brush where some of the bristles are a little bit longer and the bottom bristles are more dense. And that's probably the best way to apply this one because it is pretty pigmented. And um, I just gently sweep it on. You've seen me apply bronzer probably a thousand times. Tops of my cheekbones, even around my jawline. I'm not really gonna contour as much as I'm just gonna bronze. I'm gonna get the my nose. And it's so pretty and healthy for the winter time. That's what that looks like. This foundation is more of a radiant finish, but if you're mature like I am, I have oily skin and I'm 53 years old, so it's not the same oily skin as like when I was a teenager where it was definitely, it would get very greasy during the day. I know it sounds gross, but it's the reality. It doesn't really happen anymore, but some hydrating formulas can make me look too dewy. This one doesn't, so I don't really even need to use a powder over it, but I am going to keep my, um, this, my dual finish from Lancome in my purse. I always have one of these on my vanity and one of them in my purse. And this is just an amazing product. You can use this as a foundation. You can use it wet or you can use it dry. And I am just going to go ahead and kind of set my T-zone. That's what I'll do. This is a product that everyone told me that I needed to try when I first came on YouTube about over four years ago. And finally, I tried it and I fell in love with it and I haven't been without it since. It's really nice. It's really a great replacement for your setting powder too because it's pressed and it's a little bit neater and tidier. So on your vanity, you can just apply it and you don't have like that plume of powder everywhere. And so it's really nice for that. I'm gonna keep it really simple on my lips. I'm just going to use the Lancome and this is the lipstick balm. They have two of these. One's in a silver container and that's more of a balm. The one in the gold container is a lipstick balm. So it has a little more pigment and mine is in the shade Shine Bright and it looks like this. It looks a little darker but remember it's a balm and it's pretty long wearing despite being a balm and they're just so nice for the winter months. I really want to try the the true balms, the tinted balms from Lancome because they're so beautiful too, but um, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So let's use Shine Bright. It feels so good. So creamy, hydrating, just it feels really soothing to your lips. Okay, so I'll bring you in close. Mascara's new, foundation's new, and... Um, bronzer's new. <laughs> so anyway, come on in and take a good look. Okay. 
and I will try to do a check-in when I pick my son up from school. It'll probably be about five and a half hours from now, and you can see how the foundation's holding up. I won't powder it or do anything. I might just touch up my lipstick after lunch, but I'm not going to do anything else so you can see how it holds okay, up. Okay, this is a four o'clock check-in. I've had this foundation on since nine this morning without any touch-ups, and I have been cleaning my husband's office today. It's so dusty in there. I don't go in there and clean it as regularly as I clean the rest to the house and he's got like some built-in shelves and Wayne's paneling on the walls and stuff so there's a lot to dust and I got pretty sweaty so I did check it out in the magnifying mirror before I got in my car and um, it looks great you know I did reapply my lipstick um, even though I still had quite a bit on and I really like this foundation I think it wears beautifully I think that it can really stand up to an active day like even if I went to yoga like not a class where I'm really sweating a lot but something where I might be getting a little bit sweaty but not profusely I think that this would hold up well for that too and um, yeah so this is how it looks I don't find it to be breaking up anywhere. It is a very kind of lighter to medium coverage. And even if it did break up a little bit, I'm not sure that I would notice it as much because it is such, you know, it is a lighter coverage. So um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Have you tried it? Would you like to try it? Yeah, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this review of the products that I'm trying from Lancome. And if you have any other video suggestions that you'd like to see, any products you'd like me to review, let me know down in the comment section. Um, even just say hello. I love interacting with you. And I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next time.